shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Yes, that's true. Good morning to you. Trust you're good. We're sharing truth this morning on God responds to zeal from John chapter 2, uh, 13 to 21, 22 thereabout. You're warmly welcome to the Really Really Knowing God channel with me, Pastor Lanry Adenekon, trying our best to inspire you to share with you into the knowledge of God, the real knowledge of God, the deep knowledge of God, the true, rich knowledge of God, and everything is being part by the Pastor Larry Adenekon Center for Education, the place. This is the Daily Gem Devotional, making you a gem to your generation and a gemstone in the crown of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you are tired of commonplace Christianity and now want the finest quality of it, you are the right place. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we give you thanks this morning. Thank you for it being over the weekend. We give you all the praise and all the glory. This morning we are asking Almighty God that you will again speak to your people in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us understand the importance of zeal with knowledge and how that you reward it greatly. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, verse 13 of uh, John 3, by the grace of God this morning. Uh, now the Passover of the Jews was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem, and he found in the temple those who sold oxen and sheep and doves, and money changers doing business when he had made a whip of cords, he drove them all out of the temple with the sheep and the oxen and poured out the changes money, overturned the tables. And he said to those who sold those, take these things away. Do not make my father's house a house of merchandise. When his disciples remembered that it was written, the zeal of your house has eaten me up. So so the Jews and so the Jews answered a bigger pardon and said to him, What sign do you show us since you do these things? Jesus answered and said to them, Destroy this temple, in three days I raise it up. And he just said, it has taken for six years to build this temple. Will you raise it up in three days? But he was speaking of the temple of his body. Therefore, when he had risen from the dead, the disciples remembered that he had said this to them, because they believed, and they believed the scripture and the word which Jesus had said. 23. Now when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover during the feast, many believed in his name when they saw the signs which he did. But Jesus did not commit himself to them, because he knew all men, and had no need that anyone should testify of man, for he knew what was in man. That's like taking it to the end of the chapter. But I hope we are able to share that much this morning. So let's go back now to from 13. Yes. Uh, talked about the feast, and he found in the temple those who sold oxen and sheep and those. And, um, to quickly explain uh, some form of background, um, it is such that, or it was such that uh, some people needed to use those items in the temple. Can you remember when they wanted to do the uh, this little ceremony for Jesus after eight days that they had to get two turtle doves and things like that. Yeah, some people would come to the temple. So without having to buy their own in the market, they could always get in the temple. You know, some people had to change money because they traveled a long distance and um, some of these things they used for money were uh, some metal up there and they were quite heavy at times, you know. And so rather than come all the way with all that, they just came with some things and changed to money. And, you know, that was that's the background. So at the end of the day, that was was uh, business and transactions going on in the temple and uh, we know the story how Jesus cast all those things and, and threw them out but you see we can uh, draw some parallels today some people are doing merchandise in the midst of the church um, at times it's not as if you bring wares to church uh, to sell things even some do that after service people have already you know put something to sell after service to discuss to talk about transactions and things like that right after service um, and it's on their minds why whatever is going on during the service Jesus says take these things hence those things should not be in your mind you are come to worship God to fellowship with the other brethren that should be what is paramount upon your mind while you are at church praise the Lord but you see the other uh, uh, ones are these people who make merchandise of the gospel or who make merchandise of the church of the brethren who make money out of the situations of the brethren who make 
contacts who make whatever it is they're out to make there out of the situations of the brethren some people all they are looking for is just fame some is just a feel-good factor you know the fact that people need to come to you all of it is still transactional at the end of the day they make you feel good they make you feel better they make you feel great they make you feel important they boost your ego or whatever is still transactional and all of those things are going on in the church in what we call church uh, that's what is represented uh, you know, uh, you know, here. And Jesus says, "Take these things away. Do not make my father's house a house of merchandise, a mount of uh, transaction, a, a, a place where some things are in exchange." You know, that's the way some people can uh, ex you can exchange your your um, your ego, interesting ego, interesting boosting the way you feel and all the rest of it with the feelings of the people with the issues of the people and and and, and it ought not to be so in jesus mighty name the bible says that in um, verse 17 disciples remembered and remember that scripture the zeal of your house has eaten me up i want to uh, talk about zeal this morning it's also one of the things that are important there's some emotion involved in the work in working with the lord in serving the lord there's a bit of emotion involved your zeal your passion how much interested you are what drives you what makes you tick what makes you really really feel strongly it's all part of it you know and we cannot remove emotions from it actually it's all part and parcel of it we have examples how that the lord actually responded to zeal we have examples in the old testament we have examples in the new testament i was just talking about the, the the woman who poured oil upon jesus christ it was zeal in manifestation and 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 the, the lord commended it there was a woman who was there uh, washing who was weeping and using her hair to wipe the feet of jesus it was zeal in some way or the other and it's part of it you must exhibit zeal but let it be with knowledge that's what we are talking about praise the lord and um the funny people here they are the jews who would after he had whipped them and driven them out and overturn their tables and then and then they now ask you questions um what signs do you show us since you are doing these things amazing questions you know at times I, when i read about these jews and pharisees i just laugh but what, what what was the need for that question if you are doing these things what sign are you showing what other sign he's just beating you up that's a fantastic sign if you are looking for any sign you've just seen the zeal of the lord being manifest in him that's a fantastic sign after all that they are asked they were asking okay what signs are you going to show seeing that you do very very funny people and um, it will take a jesus to deal with them actually and i love the way he dealt with them many many times and he gave them the most appropriate answer at that point in time because they were talking about their fantastic temple and he went and said destroy this temple in three days i'll build it up oh that was something else it was too much for them to take this temple <laughs> it took our fathers 46 years to build this temple you know we know you know i i i, I love that statement you know why i love this statement those of you who are building don't worry you'll finish your own before 46 years in jesus mighty name you are wondering why lord all these years we are still building building you will finish your own and it will not be 46 years you will finish very very soon too in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ i want to uh, pray for those who have supported you over the period where you are putting up this building the lord will reward every single one of you this work shall be completed and the glory shall be to the lord and to the lord alone it's a monday let me not bore you with too much this morning of preaching i want to wish you a very fine work week ahead of you there thanks for staying with us remember all the figures right under as you are seeing the subscribers, the people who have uh, who have uh, 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 viewed us, and all the rest of it, please do everything you can to improve those numbers by liking, by subscribing, for example, and all the rest of it. Have a wonderful week, Amen.